I want to pray for you. You're holding my hand like this. So, <laughs> yeah. I want to pray for you. Mama is holding my hand like this. I'm trying to release my hand. Mama is holding my hand. Mama, Jesus loves you. You hear me? Thank you, Jesus. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, you need to pray Thank a lot. You, Jesus. Amen. You know, the, you know what your husband is doing. Mm. You know, mm. this is a mm. blockage to you. Mm. You hear me? Amen. This is a blockage. Amen. But if you pray more, Thank God can Jesus. release you. Hallelujah. It, it, let me tell you this. It won't be easy for you to do the work of God. As long as you have got people that are still using charms around you. Amen. May the Lord release me. I fled from that house. You have run away from the house? Yeah, three months ago, I was hospitalized and I went to my biological parents. Can you hear what she's saying? So now I'm praying that Jesus must help you. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Amen. So now I believe God has released you. Thank you, Jesus. But the problem is that there are things that have been done on you. Yes, yes. You hear me? Amen. So now these are the things that will hold you back. You know, to succeed, it will be very difficult. Amen. But Amen. I believe with the mercy of God, Amen. you'll be free. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Don't pray. Let me tell you, don't pray. You are a pastor. Huh? Yes. Don't pray for your eyes to open. That's not a good prayer. Mm -hmm. I'm sure even you pastors, you are hearing me. Yes. Huh? Pastors, you are hearing me? Yes. Don't pray for God to open your eyes. That's not a good prayer. I'm telling you. Your calling, obedience, and other things like submission, it helps people to be lifted from where they are to another level. You, you understand what, what I'm trying to say to you? Amen. Let me give you an example. When I came to Charis, I was 18. Amen. 18, you understand? Amen. Now, all my years, I've been serving God. Amen. So now that makes God to look at me and say, oh, what a faithful servant. Amen. Let me give him this. Amen. But if with my prayer, I was not going to receive like now when I'm telling you what I'm telling you. Amen. I was not going to receive it. There are things that prayer cannot do. If there are things that prayer can do, everyone that is prayerful is supposed to be a prophet. Can I say that again? Amen. If there are things that prayer can do, I know many people that are so much prayerful. They can pray, but yet they can't see even a single vision. This thing is still going back to God. He still do what he wants to do. Your prayer doesn't change the mind of God about you. Can I say that again? Amen. Your prayer does not change the mind of God about your life. Amen. When you are like this, God knows how you are supposed to live, what you are supposed to do, and the things you are not supposed to do. So now, if I come here to God and I fast, I pray. I say, God, make me a major prophet. There's 99.9% .9 that I will never be a prophet. Because sometimes our wishes is not the wish of God. The best way to do, be faithful with God, you pray. Pray without having a desire of other things. Have the desire of the searching for the face of God more. The more you dig deep, God is watching, and he knows your heart. You know, there are people that God can give you the grace, not because you are suitable for that grace. No, because you have been praying and searching for the face of God for a long time. And your faithfulness, I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, huh? yes, prophet. So now from today, change your prayer. 
Don't go. Now I never prayed to God that God opened my eyes. I've never prayed that prayer. Amen. You hear me? Amen. So now even you, don't pray and say, God, my eyes, my eyes. Otherwise, you will die without your eyes being open. Amen. Amen. Because you, your goal now is to prophesy. You want to prophesy. That's not a goal of being called by God. If you are called by God, the goal is to win souls. Now we are losing, you know, the main thing now, which is to preach to the lost souls. It's not to tell you your name is Bulawayo, where now you are coming from, where, where. That's not the main issue. The main issue here is to bring lost souls to Christ. Amen. That's it. Amen. If you can do that, I'm telling you, God can still look at you with the eyes of saying, this one has worked better than many. Amen. You, you heard what I said? Amen. God can still say to you, ah, this one has worked better than us who can come and say, your name is Bulawai. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Amen. Let us not, the issue of the blood of Jesus was not for us to be prophesying, it's for us to win souls. God just raised prophets so that people can understand that God can still speak. That's the only reason. If not, we are, all of us were just supposed to be saying, hey, come to Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Come to Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Come and save your life. Come, hey, come and give your life to Christ. That was supposed to be the only thing we are supposed to do. So now, because people are full of unbelief, God said, oh, okay, let me bring the spirit of prophecy now. But I can tell you, people that have got the spirit of prophecy, they have never prayed for it. Amen. So even you, I want to pray for you. And I believe Jesus will do what he wants to do with you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Can I pray for you? So from today, don't pray that prayer again. Let the will of God happen to you. From today, don't pray that prayer. If you are meant to be a prophet, there's a line that is drawn. When you reach there, your eyes will just boom by themselves. You don't need to tell God. You don't need to tell him. I'm sure you're hearing me. Amen. I always say to people, let us not pray selfish prayers. There are prayers that are selfish. Even me, I never prayed them. In my life, can I tell you, I never prayed to God for, to, for God to give me money. I've never done that. Because the word of God says, before I pray, he knows what I want to pray for. And he knows what I need. There are things you don't need to pray. Simple as that. You are free, mama. God loves you. God loves you, mama.